Welcome once again, dear friends, to another edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in Topeka, Kansas. I'm so very glad to have you aboard with me today for this edition. Hope you're doing well. Taking a little bit different this week, we're going to be just sort of kicking back a little bit. You know, we're in the middle of winter here, and you've still got a ways to go before spring. Hope you're getting through it okay. Again, I'm recording this on Saturday, February 6th, 2021, so not quite two weeks out, but yet I'm understanding it's going to possibly be a bit on the chilly side. this next week so when you're listening to this very likely we've been through a very cold snap and hopefully everybody made it through okay it's always an interesting phenomenon the winter it's the most difficult season wouldn't you agree to get through for most of us Cold weather greets us in the morning and almost bites us as we go outside. The trees are bare, the ground is barren. <laughs> Not a lot of life out there, or so it seems. Everything and everybody just about it seems to be hunkered down just trying to survive waiting for something better to come imagine though if you lived in a perpetual state of winter where it never got warm it never got any greener be tough wouldn't it I know some places around the world, it's probably that way. It's probably cold, you know, 12 months a year up on the very northern edges or the very southern edges of our home here on Earth. But here in Kansas is where we call home, those of us really who are in these two churches. uh, We have a lot of things to look forward to. I believe the seasons give us reason to have confidence that God hasn't left us. He's with us. He's going to bring us right where he wants us to go. Amen. Proverbs 21, 21 says, Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. I wonder if we're really consciously pursuing righteousness and love. Is it something that we are setting out to do? Or is it something that we kind of put as an add-on at the end of the day, if we have the time, the energy, the ability, the strength, (laughs) the desire? So much of life is a choice. We think it's it's just something that's going to naturally happen. If it doesn't happen, we wonder why. So often it's our own choice that gets us where we're at. You can slice it and dice it any way you want and still we make our own choices. It was interesting, a few weeks ago I was talking to someone and something came up about a situation. I can't even remember the exact detail of that situation. It 
but it had to do with a young person, maybe in their teens or 20s, who had gotten into some pretty serious trouble. Facing jail time, maybe prison time. I can't even re remember the exact nature of what happened or who it involved, but I do know that that was the, the gist of it. That was basically what it was. The person told me that somebody didn't raise their child right for him to turn out that way. Well, we were just passing, so we didn't get into much of a discussion. And certainly parents have a large role to play in the upbringing of their children. And yet, it's amazing to me how oftentimes we all make our own choices. The best parents in the world can have children who stray away from what they were taught. They can deviate from the path that was laid out before them to follow because it's the individual's choice ultimately. Certainly not neglecting or minimizing the environment at home. Very crucial, very important. We know that. And yet still, it's very much in evidence that each individual makes his or her own choices on what they're going to do with their life. They can be raised in the best home with the best parents, the most godly environment, and still choose to go off on a different path that doesn't lead them to the ways of God. Ultimately, we as individuals are responsible for the choices that we make. Can't blame our parents, can't blame our circumstances as much as people might want us to it's up to us as individuals we make the choices we choose our attitude we choose our actions we choose our words we make the choice it's up to us god gave us that freedom to do that It's always interesting to have conversation about these types of things because I think there's a lot of different ways of looking at it. However, at the end of the day, the responsibility comes back to me. What kind of choices am I making? What kind of influence am I being on my children, on my grandchildren, on those around me? So that it's not so much me looking at the faults of others, but it's looking at my own self and how can I more fully learn to follow in the paths of God and the ways of his righteousness. That verse again, Proverbs 21, 21 simply says, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity and honor. You know, that word at the very beginning, whoever, is pretty much inclusive, isn't it? It's pretty much all-encompassing. doesn't matter your race, religion, creed, color, your social status, your educational achievements, what you did in the past, what you're going to do in the, pre in the future, what you're doing in the present. It's now about us pursuing righteousness. And that word pursuing tells me it's my choice. I have to pursue it. It doesn't just fall in my lap. I hope that's the case with us as we go through these days here of winter, as we don't look at things as dormant and just nothing happening until spring comes. We've got opportunities now, if we will do what this verse says, to pursue righteousness and love. Because if we do, we'll find life, we'll find prosperity, and we will find honor. It's a promise from God. Well, I wish you a great Tuesday. We hope to see you back tomorrow for more fresh bread. Until then, may God richly bless you is my prayer. Have a great day.